steal the spotlight. Today I have an epic try on clothing haul for you. I was lucky enough to team up with my gals from Princess Polly once again. They are always so generous and this time around I picked out some really, really cool stuff. A lot of which is festival themed. Perfect for those of you who are headed to Splendor in a couple of days time. This will be some great last minute outfit inspo for those of you who are totally unorganized. But also for any of you who are headed to festivals coming up or if you're like me and you're broke so you're not going to any but you just like to look funky in your everyday life then hopefully this will still help you out. I'm going to be really annoying and start off with accessories just because I'm already wearing them. The first thing is this amazing pair of star hoop gold earrings. I don't even have to tell you how much I freaking love earrings. I think we already know that by now. So these were a great addition into my collection. I can definitely see me wearing these a lot. And actually to match with them, I picked up this choker layered necklace sort of combination here. I'm not usually a big one for necklaces, but I have been wearing a lot more kind of low cut, deep V dresses and tops, and it always just looks like there's something missing on the chest. This sort of jewelry also teams up beautifully with the cute little tie up tops we've been seeing everywhere this year. And I'm sure that will continue to be a huge trend for Splendor and just festival season in general. So I decided to pick up another one. This one is more of a standout piece though, A because it is so freaking bright and B because it has these insane butterfly sleeves. And butterfly sleeves like this just scream festival to me because they look gorgeous when you're dancing around. Oh, and before I forget, I totally have a discount code for you guys. So if you want to get 20% off your order, then you can use my code. I believe it is Festival Katie, so go nuts with that. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention is the lipstick I'm wearing, which is also from Princess Polly. They actually have a great range of makeup on there now. I decided just to pick up this metallic lipstick from Jeffree Star and I am loving metallic lips for, you know, a little bit of a change from the matte lips that have been everywhere for what feels like years now. I think this is really fun to bring out during festival season. Of course, now is as good a time as any to break out the sparkles. So I had to pick up this bad boy. I'm really, really impressed with the quality. It is probably one of the only things like this that I've seen under a hundred dollars and the quality is still awesome. So definitely a great pick. You could probably team it by itself. Um, I don't know, there might be like some chafing issues. So keep that in mind. I decided to team mine up with a plain white tee for some extra coverage and then threw on this epic pair of flares which I'll show you next. And yeah, I don't know, you just feel like a disco queen in this, so loving that outfit. The flares I was talking about are these babies right here. They're from IMG, the label, and I've been seeing this pop up everywhere recently. I also recently got a like mesh camo shirt from them, so definitely a brand to keep your eye on but I needed these flares in my life. You guys know I am very much a pants person, so these are like a velvety texture with little silver diamantes all over them. They are absolutely stunning. Do keep in mind with these ones that they're pretty long, so if you're a bit of a shorty like I am, I can get away with them if I wear platforms, but otherwise I think I might have to get them taken up just a little bit. I am definitely one of those people who have just hopped on that camo trend, so I picked up this cute little denim mini skirt. I think this would be really cool if you went all out camo just for something totally extra, but in this case I think you could also team it back with black. Um, some really cool chunky boots, a denim jacket, and it'll still look awesome. Do let me know if you guys want to see a full video styling camo though. Something I've kind of been planning, but I'm not sure whether to go ahead with it or if everyone's already over that. So let me know in the comments. <laughs> so I am totally guilty of picking up yet another denim jacket. I know. My collection is out of control. I think I do actually have an obsession at this point, but I'll always find a way to justify it. So, you know, totally didn't have one in this shade with the contrast stitching, but 
whatever. I already know I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of it because it is exactly the same style as the blue one I already have and wear practically every day. This next choice is a little bit random, but I'm actually really glad that I picked it up. It is this black ribbed jumpsuit. It's kind of like a cropped culotte style though, and it falls so nicely on the body thanks to that really stretchy ribbed material. And there's so many different ways you could style this. I went for an all black outfit for this video and tied something around the waist, but you could do a really epic faux fur jacket over the top. You could team like a sheer shirt or any sort of t-shirt underneath. You could even do like an oversized graphic tee tied up in a knot over the top of it. There's so many different things you could do. So I think this is a great inclusion into the wardrobe, not just for festival season, but in general. I am such a sucker for cute floral mini dresses, but of course it's winter here at the moment, so it's a lot harder to get away with wearing them. I ended up getting this one in a darker color palette, and I'm hoping that that will make it a lot easier to style for the cooler months. The really cool thing about this one is the mix of textures. It has like a sheer sort of fabric, and then all of the floral arrangements are actually in a velvet texture, which I think is just awesome. It adds so much to just a basic little mini dress. It definitely gives off those kind of dark 90s sort of vibes as well. And just to up the ante even more, I decided to throw on a faux fur coat with it. This one is in such a rich, beautiful shade that perfectly matches the dress, but honestly, Princess Polly have a ton of faux fur jackets to choose from at the moment, so 100% you'll be able to find one that will perfectly match all of your Splendor outfits, which you'll probably need because I know it's going to be pretty cold down there at night time. Okay, so I think that is about it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, then give it a big thumbs up and please let me know in the comments which item was your favorite. I would love to hear from you. If you guys are going to Splendor, then tell me what you're planning on wearing. I would love to know. And also just any video requests because obviously I've been MIA for a couple of weeks. I've been working on this massive project that I was lucky enough to be given the opportunity to work on. Unfortunately, I can't reveal more than that yet, but do stay tuned because it's gonna be big. So make sure you are subscribed and yeah, I mean, I guess that's everything. I'll see you guys in my next one.